Thank you for choosing MyQ. Setting up your Smart Garage video keypad is easy. Once you're done, you'll be able to view the entrance to your garage, the real front door to your home, from anywhere in the world using the MyQ app. In this installation overview, we'll walk through the things to check before you get started. Installing the MyQ app, pairing your video keypad to a garage door opener, setting up your video keypad and managing access, and mounting your video keypad. Follow the progress menu at the bottom of the screen to see where you are in the setup, or if you need to go back and watch a step over again. This video is intended for demonstration purposes only. Please consult the manual for complete instructions and safety information. Let's check a few things before we get started. Be sure that your mobile device's Wi-Fi is on and displays a strong signal where the video keypad will be mounted. If your Wi-Fi signal is not strong, you may need to add a Wi-Fi repeater. Check that Bluetooth is enabled on your mobile device. Next, you'll need to get the latest MyQ app installed. These steps will help both Apple and Android users. Some screens may appear slightly different. Go to the App Store or Google Play and search for MyQ. Several apps will appear. Choose the app with this logo called MyQ Garage and Access Control. Install that one. If you have an older version of the MyQ app that doesn't have this icon, go download the latest app. When you launch the app, you'll be prompted to allow notifications, accept the terms of service, and allow Bluetooth. You can then either sign in or sign up for a MyQ account. Fill in and submit your information. As a new user, you'll receive an email with a PIN code to complete your registration. After entering the PIN, MyQ will automatically sign you in. It's time to set up your video keypad using your smartphone. Lay out the video keypad and other parts. The box contains the video keypad, the micro USB charging cable, angled mounting bracket, and mounting hardware. Remove the back battery plate from the keypad. Inside, you'll find the battery. Remove the battery and protective plastic shield, then begin charging it using the provided USB cable. Charge the battery until the green indicator light comes on. To ensure your video keypad is never without power, additional batteries are available for sale at MyQ.com. Open the MyQ app. Tap the plus symbol in the bottom right corner. On the device setup screen, choose Video Solution, then choose the video keypad. If you already own a MyQ enabled opener, select it and press Next. If not, follow the on-screen instructions to see if your current garage door opener can be connected which provides the greatest functionality for your video keypad. You'll be reminded to check the Wi-Fi signal, have your password, that Bluetooth is enabled on your phone, and have your video keypad. If your opener is not connected via MyQ, you'll also need a ladder to progress with the manual pairing process. Tap I'm ready. Reinsert the battery back into the video keypad. The LED will flash a sequence of colors as it's booting up before flashing blue. When the LED begins to flash blue, tap Next. MyQ will look for your video keypad. When it's discovered, it will appear on the screen. Tap the listed keypad. Once connected via Bluetooth, the LED will turn solid blue. Now, MyQ will look for available networks. Tap your home network and enter your password. The LED on the camera will flash between blue and green as it attempts to connect to your Wi-Fi network. Stay close to your device until you see the Added to Wi-Fi screen. Your device is now connected and the LED should be solid green. Give your keypad a name. Hit Done on your phone's keypad and then select Next. Now create a 4-8 to eight digit PIN that can be used to open your garage door. Tap Next. It's time to connect your video keypad to your garage door opener. Note, the video keypad is compatible with all Chamberlain, LiftMaster, and Craftsman garage door openers made after 1993. If you have a MyQ-enabled garage door opener, you'll see the Program to Opener screen with a picture of the keypad. Simply enter your PIN code and press the Home button. After a brief moment, either the light will turn on or you'll hear a clicking from your opener and can press Next. If your garage door opener is not connected to MyQ, you'll see the Program to Opener screen with a picture of a garage door opener and need to tap Next. 
safety warning, your garage door will move during programming. Keep the path of the moving door clear of people and objects. Tap next. Safely access your garage door opener, keeping your keypad within reach. Locate the Learn Program button on the side or bottom of your opener. See the diagram for possible locations. Once located, take note of the color and press Next. Select the color on your MyQ app that matches your garage door opener's Learn button. Press and quickly release the Learn button. The small LED light on your garage door opener should turn on. Do not press this button too long or it could erase your Learn transmitters and keypads. Tap Next. Take your video keypad and enter your PIN number. Then press the Home button in the bottom right. After a brief moment, your opener's light will turn on or you'll hear a clicking noise. Tap Next. You have 30 seconds to pair your video keypad before the learning process times out. If unsuccessful, press the button again and repeat this step. Let's take it for a spin. Enter the pin you created one more time, followed by the home button, and confirm your garage door opens. If it does, select yes. If not, tap no, and the app will guide you through provisioning again. Next, you can add up to two co-owners to your account. Each will have a unique pin that will give you access to smarter notifications. Tap add a co-owner, or skip for now if you'd like to come back at a later time. Enter the user's info that you'd like to invite. Tap the arrow. Tap the co-owner to create a pin for them. Enter a four to eight digit pin for this co-owner to use with the video keypad. Tap save pin. You can now add a second co-owner or tap next. You can easily share and manage home access without sharing your password by creating a guest profile. Tap add a guest or you can tap skip for now if you'd like to add a guest profile later. Type in a name for your guest. Tap the arrow to continue. Tap the type of pass you'd like to create. A one-time pass is a single-use entry for a period of time. Great for package or food deliveries. Temporary pass is used when you'd like to allow multiple entries over a custom period of time, such as an out-of-town guest or short-term rental. Recurring pass allows access for a recurring period of time. For example, to be used with your cleaning services or dog walker. Select the pass that best fits your needs. Tap which days of the week you want to allow access. Tap the slider next to all day access if you'd like to adjust the hours of access. Tap the arrow. Select the devices you'd like this guest pass to allow access to. In this example, we're selecting video keypad. Tap the arrow. Type in a four to eight digit pin for your pass. Tap the arrow. Confirm all of the details are correct from the previous steps. If everything looks good, tap Send Recurring Pass. Tap the way you'd like to send the guest pass. Success! Setup in the app is complete. You can now see the preview image from your video keypad. Mounting your video keypad is easy. You'll need a tape measure along with the mounting bracket, the included hardware, and a Phillips head screwdriver. You'll also need a drill if you'll be installing using the included wall anchors. Warning, the video keypad must be mounted at a minimum height of 5 feet, 1.5 meters, above floors, landings, steps, or any other adjacent walking surface where small children cannot reach. Hold the video keypad to the plastic mount and choose the side of the garage that provides the best visibility. Check the video using your MyQ app. Once you've selected the side of the garage and height, mark the screw hole locations using the mount as a template. The included 20-degree wedge can be flipped to adjust the angle to your preferred orientation. When mounting to hard surfaces, such as concrete or stucco, use proper safety equipment and drill holes using a 1 quarter inch drill bit, then insert the provided wall anchors. If installing on wood or vinyl, skip this step. Attach the bracket to the wall using the provided screws and a screwdriver. Do not use power tools. To have greater customization over the viewing area of your video keypad, consider purchasing a swivel mount which allows you to customize the viewing angle. Available online at myq.com. Slide the top of the video keypad into the ridges at the top of the mount, then push the bottom of the keypad into the mount. Once your video keypad is in place, tighten the included short security screw into the bottom of your device to secure it into place. Do not use any screw other than the included short security screw to secure your video keypad. Using the wrong screw could damage the device. That's it! Now you have access to view your real front door from anywhere in the world. 
For more information, visit support.chamberlaingroup.com. Thank you for choosing MyQ.